Hello, my name is Miss Lewis. I'm excited to work with you this week about learning English. We're going to be doing week four, day five activities. All this week we've been talking about my house and vocabulary about our houses. Today we're going to focus on machines at home. We're going to start by looking at the letters ER when they make the er sound. Then we're going to read the book Machines at Home. We have some activities when we're going to talk and write about machines at home. Let's get started. First, we're going to talk about the letters ER when they make the sound er. On your papers, I want you to trace the letters again and again to practice. If you don't have your paper, put your finger in the air and we'll write it together. E R. Now you can trace it on your hand. E R R. -er. E R R. -er. Great job. Down below, we have lots of pictures. We're going to put the letters ER to finish the words. This is a dryer. Dry, please write ER on your papers. Repeat after me. Dryer. Good. This is where we can dry our clothes. Now we're going to do the word freezer. Please write the ER and repeat after me. Freezer. Good. This is where we can freeze and keep our food cold, like ice cream. This is my word washer. Please write the ER. Repeat after me. Washer. Good job. This is where we wash our clothes. Here's another word. Mixer. Please write the ER. Repeat after me. Mixer. This is what we can use to mix ingredients when we cook food. Here's another word. This is a blender. Please write the ER. Repeat after me. Blender. Great job. We can use this to blend food to make a smoothie. And this is our last one. This is a toaster. Please write the ER. Repeat after me. Toaster. Good. This is what we can use to toast our bread. These are all words that we're going to read about in our book today. Our vocabulary for machines at home. Look at the picture. Each one of these is a machine. Write the word machine on your paper. If you don't have the paper, you can write it on your hand. M A C H I N E. Machine. Let's do the other ones. Look at the picture. This is a dryer. Please write the word dryer on your paper. D R Y E R. This is a 
washer. Please write the word washer on your paper. This is a freezer. Please write the word freezer on your paper or write it on your hand. Good. Mixer. Please write the word mixer on your paper. Great job. Let's see if we can find these words in our book today. Machines at home. We use machines every day. We wash clothes with a washer. We dry things with a dryer. We freeze food with a freezer. We make dinner with a stove. Hey, here's my ER er again. We make cake with a mixer. We make milkshakes with a blender. What machines do you use every day? Great job. Now you can go back, you can read the book again, listening to me. You can read it with me, or you can read it by yourself. When you're done, let's do some more activities. All right, so we want to match the sentence with the picture. Look at all of these pictures of the machines we talked about today. Now, I want you to read the sentence, then I'll read it after you, and find the picture. Read sentence number one. It says, we use a dryer. Point or circle to the picture of the dryer. Great job. You read number two. I'll read it. They use a mixer. Where is the mixer? Yes, good job. You read number three. He uses a stove. Which one? Yes, good job. You read number four. He uses a freezer. Which picture shows a freezer? Yes, good job. You read number five. She uses a washer. Where is the washer? Yes, great job. Now we're gonna draw the machines you have at your home and we're gonna write about them. Look at this picture. That is a toaster, but we wanna talk about it. So here I have the phrase, I use. I use a toaster. You can draw a picture of a different machine here. Remember, you can go back and use your book to find different machines and how to spell them. Look around your house. I want to do a washer. So on my paper, I'm gonna write, I use a washer. I wanna expand my sentence. I want to say, I use a washer at home. Now I want to do something different. Mm, I use, after I wash my clothes, 
I use a dryer at home. You can fill those in and write in your pictures. Great job this week. You did lots of vocabulary about our house, to listen, to read it, to write it, and you talked about it. Now, this weekend, talk to other people in your house about the rooms, the places, and the machines in your house. Maybe you can even clean a little bit. Thank you so much for your hard work this week. I'm very proud of you. I'll see you later. Bye.